everybody. My name is Sarah Sapora. I am a self-love mentor and a wellness advocate. And I am a plus size woman who is on her own journey to creating a happier and healthier self from the inside out. If you're new to me, I just want to update you and I want to share with you three things that I believe in before we move any further in this conversation. The first thing I believe in is that at any weight, any age, or any time in our life, we can make choices to create a greater self. No matter where we are, no matter what we've done in the past, no matter what state our body is in, every chance that we are awake is a chance to make a choice that fuels our life and moves it forward. The second thing that I believe in is that the only way to make sustainable change in life comes from a place of massive self-love. You can't make choices and changes from fear. You have to do them from a place of love. The third thing that I believe in is that if something feels off or askew in your life, there's probably a connection to a bunch of other things in your life that also may be often askew. So for example, for me, when I was at my heaviest, there was no doubt in my mind that the relationship that I had with my body was a complete correlation to the relationship that I had to my personal life, to my self-worth, to my money, to my clothes. And I had to be willing to look at all of it from a really honest perspective in order to be able to see how to move forward. Which brings me to the idea that we're gonna be talking about right now, which is the idea of judging others. When we judge others, what does it really say about us? You've probably heard people say that before. When you judge others, it really says something more about you than it does about the person you're judging. So let's unpackage that a little bit. But let's first start by being really honest and saying, have you ever looked at someone and gone, oh, what are they doing? Or, oh, what is she wearing? She shouldn't be wearing that. Have you ever looked at another person and judged them? Chances are, probably yes. Chances are it's one of those little small simple things that you may even do so life so easily that you may not even notice you're doing it. This can be especially common and especially popular during bathing suit season when we may wonder, what is she doing wearing that bathing suit? Or I could never wear that bathing suit. Or oh, that's a lot of skin. We may often catch ourselves judging other people. The important thing to know is that when we judge other people, it genuinely has less to do with the person that we're judging and more to do with how we perceive that person and frankly, how we perceive ourselves. There's a quote from Yogi Bhajan, one of the sutras of Kundalini Yoga that says, recognize the other person is you. Recognize the other person is you. And what that means is that we are all in other people and other people are all in us. And when we hit roadblocks or we find ourselves being judgmental or we find ourselves hitting conflicts with other people, it's natural for us to want to sort and say, we're not like that. Ew, we don't do that. That's not us. At least we don't do that. At least I'm not that fat. At least I don't have that cellulite. But really what we should be doing is recognizing how that other person is a representation of who we are and what the shadow is in ourselves, what the fear is in ourselves, that this is what we are noticing in someone else. See, we all have shadows and we all have fears. Sometimes we let those fears color our perceptions of other people. Sometimes we're able to say, this is my fear. I know it's not rational. I see it, I choose something else. But when we stand in judgment of other people, when we stand in judgment of others, we are really in judgment of ourselves. We're really highlighting with a big yellow highlighter what our fears and our beliefs are about ourselves that we are simply mirroring onto someone else. 
that other person becomes a catalyst for our processing. That other person becomes the measurement by which we use to evaluate ourselves. So let's, let's, let's give a realistic example here. You may be not so comfortable in your bathing suit body this season, and you may be at the beach or at the water park or at the pool, and you may see someone who's wearing a really bold swimsuit, maybe a little less fabric, and you may feel that they don't have the most bikini-friendly body, which is, of course, a crazy thing to say. All bodies are bikini bodies if you wear a bikini. But you may stop and you may look at that person and you may think for a second, Ugh, she shouldn't be wearing that. I can see her cellulite. I can see her this. I can see that. Ugh, I, ugh, I judge her for wearing that bathing suit. Does she have any self-respect? I challenge you to see how doing that is a reflection of your own fear. Maybe you yourself have cellulite that you're not comfortable with and you wouldn't wear that bathing suit. So when you see someone who is wearing that bathing suit, it's natural in some way for you to say, ugh, they shouldn't be doing that. If I shouldn't do that, they shouldn't be doing that. Or if they're doing that, I could never do that. Or I wish I could do that, but this person is doing it. And that person that you're standing in judgment of becomes a mirror for the beliefs that you have about yourself. The limiting beliefs, the judgmental beliefs, the not compassionate beliefs. The judgment that you see in others is a mirror of the judgment that you have in yourself. So when you judge other people, what you're really doing is highlighting and shining light at some of the dark places of the limiting beliefs and the fears that you have about yourself. And I understand it's really easy to do that. It's really easy to be fearful of who we are and what our challenges are and what our perceived strengths and weaknesses is. And especially when we look on social media, it can be so hard to compare ourselves to others because we all know that it's wrong, but we all end up doing that. The idea though, is that when we feel compelled to judge others, to stop, and to be willing to see what is it about this person that is a reflection of me? What is it about this person that I see in myself that is causing me to react this way? And how can I reevaluate that to not be in judgment of them but to be willing to see an opportunity for me to grow and look at myself with compassion, without judgment. Because all people that we encounter, all relationships, all persons are opportunities for us to grow within ourselves. So the next time you find yourself judging someone, I encourage you to just pause, stop and breathe for a second and be willing to see how the other person is you. Be willing to see how you are the other person. As Yogi Bhajan says, understand that the other person is you. Move from a place of compassion and not judgment. And you will treat yourself with compassion and peace. The more acceptance we have for others, the more acceptance we have for ourselves. the more acceptance we have for ourselves, the more acceptance we have for others around us, their differences, their limitations, their bright shining lights, the more compassion and energy and ability we have to see our own bright and shining light. Okay, guys, thank you so much for hanging out and sticking around with me. I hope that makes sense. I hope you will give judging others a second thought before you do that and be willing to see the opportunity in yourself for growth instead of judging others. Thank you so much, and I look forward to hanging out with you again soon. Bye!